Okay, question three. We've got to solve this differential equation with the initial condition given. So we're going to get rid of, be able to get rid of any constants. Because uh, it's first order, so it needs one initial condition to get rid of constants. And it's probably going to be exact. Uh, let's check it here. So if it's exact, it means it's, it has the form, can I just remember which round it goes? So you have the dy here, this one is the, the fy term, the partial derivative of f in terms of y, and this then is the fx term, because you have like dx, dx there. So if these really are fx and fy, then they should integrate to the same thing. So we integrate fx in terms of x, and we get, what well, we get x squared y cubed, plus x squared, and integrate fy in terms of y, we get x squared y cubed plus a quarter e to the 4y. Then these things must be equal to each other, so you have an extra x squared here, and here you have the quarter e to the 4y, because those things, you know, that's a constant as far as fx is concerned, and the x squared is a constant as far as the fy is concerned. So that's what that'll be. Oh, then you set that equal to a constant because the derivative, the different equation is saying the derivative of this thing is zero, so it must be a constant itself, and that gives you the, the solution. The solution gives you y implicitly defined. You can't really solve this for y because it's got this exponential here. That'll be the answer. Okay, so let's actually do this. Write it down. So it's question three. So the equation they gave us was, it was, you know what, I'm just going to write it as, it was fx plus fy dy dx equals zero. And they said that fx was 2xy cubed plus 2x, and that fy was 3x squared y squared plus e to the 4y. So that means that f is, then we integrate both of them, so x squared y cubed, integrate this in terms of x, x squared. Integrate the other one, you get the x squared y cubed term. You get, then you get a quarter e to the 4y term, and that's it. And so you can get to a constant, it's the answer implicitly. Ah, but then we need to use the initial condition. So the initial condition was, where is it now? Where's it gone? The initial condition was y of 1 equals 0. So we, in this equation we have, we need to use the fact that y, when x equals 1, y equals 0. So y, when x equals 1, is 0. So that means that this equation becomes what? 0, the first one is 0, because the y is there, plus 1 plus a quarter e to the 0, which is just 1, equals c. So that means that c equals 5 over 4, right? So the final solution is x squared y cubed plus x squared plus a quarter e to the 4y equals 5 over 4. And that's it.